Hey everybody, I'm Jason. Yesterday I did something different. I went catfishing and met some new friends from out of the country and they showed me how easy it can be. So today I went and bought some chicken livers for like $2.39 and just a pair of scissors from the dollar store and I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm at one of the lakes in Winter Park, Florida. It's part of the urban ponds where they actually stock the uh, pond with catfish and bass and it's made for where people can take them home and eat. So. Here's what the pond looks like. There's a lot more to it than what you see here, but this is just one shady corner. It's really hot today and it's about midday, so hopefully things will go well. I'll see what I can catch for you guys. So like I said, I went and bought some chicken livers and some cheap scissors from the dollar store, and I've got a whole whopping, I don't know, three, four bucks invested in this. So uh, what we do is we just grab a piece of the uh, chicken liver, cut it down to a small size for the hook, and then just throw it out and wait. Um, I am using a circle hook. I've heard those are really good for this kind of fishing. As soon as the fish bites, you just start reeling. It automatically loops around and hooks them in the mouth. So Now you guys might laugh at me for using my bait caster for this, but it's my favorite reel that I'm real comfortable with, and why not? I catch tons of fish with it. So I have a um, 50 pound braid, which is a little overkill, but it keeps me out of trouble. And then I have this little clip leading to a bullet sinker, leading to some 30 pound mono. Uh, leading to the circle hook. This usually does a great job, so we'll see what happens. And I got it all rigged up, a little chicken liver on the end, and here we go. So if they're not biting a lot, this can get a little boring, so I'll go ahead and speed up the video and cut out parts where I'm not catching just to keep it more interesting for you. So I think I know a way to get them all excited and get more bites. I've got a few pieces of the chicken liver cut up. I'm just going to chum the water with it, just throwing them all around where I'm fishing. Okay, I'm going to try going way out with this. chicken livers so I'm at uh, Martin, Luther, Martin Luther King Park in Winter Park Florida so it's one of the um, I don't know if it's Orlando urban pond or Central Florida urban pond but just look up urban pond and uh, you'll find this is in here and they'll tell you all about it but uh, apparently there are thousands of these they put in there every year uh, so you're almost guaranteed to catch something a park ranger told me if you go to the fish feeding stations that's actually the better place to catch fish but um, it's a little hot and my camera will keep turning off. So anyway, let me get this guy off the hook, but not bad. That's probably pound and three quarter, maybe two pounds. So that took about 10 minutes or so, maybe seven or eight different casts. Um, just to give you an idea how long it took to catch that first one. So I'm going back to the same general area. There might be more down there. Things can pull, man. Get bite. Oh, oh, he's going that way. <laughs> Come on, baby. I have this light uh, rod on three, uh, rod on here, so yeah, it's really fun. It makes it extra fun to catch stuff. Ah, the bite. There we go. Ah, well, I dare say this is bigger than the other one. Uh, they all look about the same, but uh, they're cool. So I'll have to put on the screen uh, the type of catfish that this is. I can't remember at the moment, and I don't want to get it wrong, but. Not bad, number two. Okay, here's number two. All right, rigged up and ready. We'll see who else is out there. So for me, it's a different kind of fishing. It's kind of boring and there's nothing to do until there's a lot to do. <laughs> so you just gotta stick it out and try casting every so often. I was told there are some 8 and 10 pound catfish and even greater than that in here. I've yet to see one of those, but I would love to catch one for you. He 
talk about a fight with this little rod I have. Uh, it would just bend my pole in half, but man, it would be fun. <laughs> now my reel would handle it no problem. I've got a Abu Garcia Revo SX baitcaster, and uh, that thing has just been wonderful. I've used them for years and years. I don't even treat it good, and it keeps on going. So the chicken liver and scissors trick is working quite good. You know, you just take the scissors, just chop off about the size you want, and then you can either put the rest of it back in the bait bucket or you can use it to chum the water to attract more fish. Oh, we got another one. That was fast. Man. Wow, good golly. Look at this thing. Okay, closer to the camera. This is fun. I love that braid sound. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Okay. They're all about the same size. But they're a good size. If you were keeping to eat, you'd actually get quite a few sandwiches. <laughs> all right, buddy. Not bad, not bad. Now their fins can really get you bad, and it might get infected and cause you a world of trouble, so I just have to be real careful getting these off the hook. All right, numero tres, three. Well, this isn't bad for the time I've spent to catch like six pounds of catfish. Imagine that, so let me just keep on going and see what happens. I always wonder if a bird flying over makes the fish run away. Well, it might be time to find a new place to try. So I do have quite a heavy weight on here my buddy Josh gave me, but these cats are so big that when they hit it, you'll know it. So I am going to try one of those baited fishing areas just to see what happens. I'll do a time warp to get us over there. Okay, we're there. So every morning early, they throw a whole bunch of food for the um, panfish and such. And catfish come around and get the crumbs, and bass come to eat the little fish. Uh, it looks really yucky. There's a bunch of weeds all over, and it'd be hard to reel back in. But I do see over this way, there's one clear shot that allows me to reel back in without having to worry as much about the weeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up right about here. Hopefully my aim is good enough to get this where it needs to go. Yeah, I'll take it. I see a lot of um, fish nests right here in the sand. A lot of fish swimming around. This could be a good thing. All right, come on 12 pound catfish. I'll try the song again. Here kitty kitty, here kitty kitty. Here. Worked. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that was funny. Oh, oh, got one. Um, I got something. Feels like probably. Whoa, whoa, this is big. I thought it was a bunch of weeds. Good lord, look at my crappy pole. <laughs> it's fun though. I like it because you really, really get to fight them. If this is a turtle, I'm gonna freak out. Good lord. Oh my god, it's something big and it's swimming. Dude, I am glad you guys are with me for this. I never go for cats. I usually go for the bass. But I might have a turtle. Oh yeah, it's going to be turtle. Come here. Oh man. Holy smokes. I hate it when I do that. I feel so bad for them and I try to get it out of them if I can. Otherwise, give them the hook and then they'll get it out themselves. So, if I had a catfish that weighed this much, ooh. Come here, baby. All right, look at this thing. I think I foul hooked him, too. Yeah, I got him on, got him on his leg or something. Oh my gosh. I'm on the move again. I want to try that other uh, baited fishing area place just to see what happens over there.
So after catching that turtle, I had to go back to my car and rig a little bit different. I've got two bullet weights in the middle that aren't quite as heavy, and then the circle hook again, so. My GoPro batteries died, but I moved down from the baited fishing area a little bit and kept fishing. I found where a bubble uh, diffuser is located, and I read once they say that's the deepest part of the pond. Often it'll go down to like a bowl for the deep part and fish will just be swimming around. So I managed to catch two catfish uh, off camera. I'll put pictures of them. Here's one and two. And uh, they're about the same size, but uh, I caught them right away. So I'm going to try a few times over there by the diffuser, and we'll see what happens there. Yeah, this pond is loaded with them. They put them in here for you. Yeah. So I've, I've caught five today, just hardly knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I'm just using like a $2.19 chicken livers bucket in there. They'll last forever. But, you know, it's yucky. Is that a catfish? Yeah, it's a catfish. They have the, they have the whisker, whiskers on them on, their, on the front. They have real sharp spines. They can get you, but... So it looks like this is the most of what you catch here. Um, there are biggies, I just don't know where they are and how to get them, but one day. So I'm over where the pump is for the um, diffuser, the bubble machine, so excuse the noise, but I thought I'd show you a little bit just about what I'm doing for bait. So I have this bucket of chicken livers. Um, it's not my favorite thing to reach in and grab guts, but I grab one, use my scissors, just cut it into a little piece that I'm able to get on the hook pretty good cover it up so the ants don't get it and then take your circle hook and just hook it a few times whatever keeps it pretty tight and keeps it on and then maybe at the end something that puts the hook back kind of in the middle or maybe poking out just a little bit there's no rocket science to it but you know the better it's on there the less problems you're going to have and the more fish you'll catch so anyway that's pretty much it and then just throw that somewhere in a good spot and and wait, <laughs> I've got some stormy clouds coming in. I may call it quits in just a little bit, but let's keep trying. Okay, one last cast for one more catfish, and then I gotta go. The rain clouds are almost here. I can imagine them just wiggling around in between the reeds on the bottom, just smelling out that bait. Ah, oh, stinky bait. They go right to it, usually. Oh, got another one. Oh, man, this one's a fighter. Check it out. <laughs> they do fight pretty good. I'm used to bass, but these things, they have their own way of fighting you. All right, come here, baby. Okay. I'll take it. All right, last catfish of the day. So hope you guys enjoyed watching me on the pond catching catfish. Just remember, just get some chicken livers, some circle hooks, go out and just be patient and try different spots. If you're stuck in one spot too long, try somewhere else. You never know what might happen. Anyway, have a great day. Um, subscribe to my channel. Give my video a thumbs like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Take care.